Hey peoples, how you doing? This is another uh, reaction video. I am your host, Full Circle 420. Today we are doing a reaction video for the last episode, thank goodness, for this season. The last episode of Life After Lockup. Um, and I'm going to talk through it. I'm going to pause it and talk through it due to the fact you know how YouTube is. Um, you know, then I will, I will have to probably um, mute some of it because, you know, part of you know, copyrights and all that other crap, you know, whatever. So I'm going to give my opinion over then. I'm going to talk talk afterwards. So just a little bit, not too much, because this, this video is over an hour long. So I'm like I said, I'm going to pause it, talk through it, pause it, talk through it. You know, little points, stuff like that. So here we go. Let's get started. You wanna take a little walk with me? Yeah, we are going to walk. I just really want you to say put the mother guys. I just um kinda wanted to pull you away for a second because the past few days has just been really hectic with moving and everything. I'm about to tell Sean that I'm pregnant, but Damn. She pregnant, huh? Well, this is this gonna be her second and his seven. Hell, he only he got kid. Yeah, six kids don't even help. Um, he, he, he got six kids he don't take off right now. He, he doesn't mouth the feet again. I'm afraid of what Sean's gonna say. I'm sorry you're so stressed. No, I'm. I really am glad that you did all this. Honestly, if Sean really truly doesn't want another kid, then. I'll raise this baby on my own. I know it's been hectic, and I'm thank I'm glad that you're here. Like I'm glad that I'm just thankful I have you. You know, I know you do a lot. You know, and I know you just you know you don't like the. I lost my train of thought. What I was trying to say. I'm confused. What was he? What he was trying to convey, or something like? I, I'm confused. What What is he trying to convey? I'm so confused right now. I'm just saying, like, it's just like I've been so, like, it's just been so amazing, like, being with you, just being around you. I never thought I'd... I think he's forgetting his lines. ...find anyone like you. And it's like, I love you so much. And I just want to say, will you marry me? <laughs> what? Uh-oh. Oh, God. Yeah. I'm on my way to your house right now. I got a bunch of weird phone calls from Puppy last night while I was at work. Of course, I missed them. I don't know what's going on. The last few weeks have been I had to mute because of copyright, you know. They'll say this is copyright, but it's really not, though. I don't know why they're saying that. And insanity. Puppy decided that she wasn't ready to turn herself in, so basically she's on the run, and I don't know what happens from here. Hi, baby. Hey. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I mean, what's going on with Michelle? Um, I'm really worried. Um, she got arrested. She uh, got arrested, I think, in Cobb County um, for a busted tail light. She made one phone call to me. She told me she'd have to call me back, and I haven't heard anything from her yet. And I, I don't know what to do. Oh, well, we'll figure it out. Uh, the thought of her having to spend the rest of her time. Yeah, you have to me. Gotta get my medicine right here. Get something about that cheetah, Chiba, you know what I'm saying? That that skicky winky, that skunky monkey, you know what I'm saying? That good shit. With my ice cream bong. It's like shock, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I know. It's not like we didn't know it wasn't coming. I just wasn't ready for it this soon. When you're locked up and you know you only got to be in there for a couple weeks or a month, I mean, either one of us could do that stand on our head. That's not the deal, but... I worry for her, like, I mean, you catch new charges, usually they're going to they're gonna take two years automatically. Do you feel like... 
Oh yeah, Punky, uh, Puppy is the one that got the him and her got the uh, uh, probation for twenty years. I'll just mm -mm, hell no. That's too. That's too long. Mm -mm. But the punishment may be worse because she didn't turn herself in and they had to arrest her. I mean, it could be worse, but it just worries me because her PO won't call me back and can't get in touch with Eric. And, you know, this is why I tried to get her to turn herself in so that we would know what was going on. Right. She wouldn't do it. She didn't want to turn herself in because Eric was like, I don't want you to go to jail. And <clears throat> I think she felt that, you know, she would lose Eric. If he loves you enough to ask you to marry him and you're all excited about it and whatever, then and she's got a parole warrant. It's going right. to happen eventually. Exactly. Do you do you know if she has new charges? I have no idea if she has any new charges. Um, I haven't been able to get in touch with anybody to answer that question yet. Maybe I need to go to Cobb County and see what the, what's going on. Well, I wish you would. Will you keep me posted? I will. Uh, she. Oh, uh, just imagine they violate her. That means she's gonna have to either serve two years or the whole twenty years that she's on probation. That sucks. All right. Thank you, baby. I love you. I love you, too. Be okay, careful. Okay, don't stress, okay? I love you. I love you. Um, I'm hoping that Amber can go over there and find out exactly what's going on, whether or not her PO is going to answer, go see her, if she's going to be able to get out. I hope they don't revoke the rest of her time. Because if they revoke the rest of her time, then she's got up to 20 years. Mm -mm -mm. 20 years. What I mean, I, I forget, what exactly did she do to get 20 years of probation? That's, mm, hell no. <laughs> See, this is shit that happens when people go to prison. And people, you know, on parole, probation, whatever. It doesn't just affect the people that's in prison. It also affects the com the families of those people as well. Crazy as hell. Be over there. Oh, here comes this dumbass motherfucker dude right here. Dion, Deontay, or whatever the fuck his name is. Dion, Deontay. Dude, man, he should just forget all about that trash as um, ch chick, though. You know what I'm saying? Her, her, and her man, though. You know what I'm saying? He's stupid. Let's get ready to rumble. Nothing can make me crumble. Take a step into the jungle. Yo, it's nothing. Welcome to the main event. I mean, look at this dude. He's 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 falling behind this this trash this trash. Dude, I mean, for real. See, those two right there are made for each other. Dude, you bought this trash? Dude, it, dude, she she juiced the fuck out you, dog, for real. She used the hell out of you. And then all this money you spent, you didn't get no, you didn't get no ass whatsoever, dude. You suck. You a sucker, yo. Now, I know her mom, I know his mom. Had heard. Had, I know his mom wrote. Uh, read him. Um, I know his mom taught him better. Taught him better than that. But this a dude. It's no longer about how he was raised. It's now about the dumbass choices he making. He's making a dumbass choice dealing with this bitch right here. Showing up at Nicole and Tia's wedding. I don't Bruh, you need some of this, man. Here you go. Here you go. Here. Have some. You need this more than I do. Weak-minded bastard. No plan at all. I'm just going into this thing. Full steam ahead. Go big or go home. Uh, you know, I really don't feel sorry for him because... You knew what you was getting at long before you met her, though. You, long before she got out, you knew what she was getting, though. I mean, dude, it's not a surprise, dude. She didn't get no kind of ass whatsoever. And then they had, you had, had you were like a puppy that it never got his bottle, bo um, bo bowl or something like that. You know what I'm saying? That never got his bowl with the food. You know, so that was you. 
dude, she did you bogus as hell, but you deserve it because, I mean, come on now. The first time she tell, first time she shows me her ass, I will believe exactly who she is. But his stupid ass gonna fall about this, uh, this trash. <laughs> stupid. You know he needs a, you no know, way he needs a high five to the face. This really has me. It's really, it's really happening. It's really happening. Duh! Of course, it's been happening long. It was happening when they was when y'all was still together. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Dude, he didn't give me no ass. He uh he used you, left you, and fired and fired this old unemployed uh, unemployed ugly bitch right here. Motherfucker, if he had man that motherfucker looked just like a man. He now that is a fucking man, yo. That is a fucking transsexual, though, man. It's just, it calling itself a female. And they didn't go, she didn't go through the transition. You look beautiful, baby. I never really thought about marriage, so I'm just fine blown. Then I'm standing there at the altar with a woman, a beautiful woman walking down the aisle about to be my wife. Thanks, Alan. <laughs> how long that's going to last but it is what it is for a walk me <laughs> i've been you know, missed you all day you look really nice you do too you look good you look like yeah. a snack <laughs> despite the fact that i've had doubts about getting married to tia i've never felt so happy with anybody in my life we gather here today in the presence of friends and family to celebrate the love that Nicole and Tia. I would have left her if I was him. I would have left her alone. I would have left her alone as soon as she says, "Well, you know, I'm not gonna have sex till this and, that and the other." But yeah, he walked around another dude and her. I would have been done a long time ago. But he's stupid though. He he's just stupid. His mother raised him right. But he didn't listen. Fucking idiot. Have for each other. Tia has always had anger issues, and our relationship in prison was so, you know, like, like volatile. But out here, I feel like she's settled down, like she's grown the up. I love her out here. If anyone can show just cause why Nicole and Tia. I bet their breath smell like bologna and bland chicken may not be lawfully joined together speak now or forever hold your peace you know even those two remember mommy of that's what happens with trash begets trash you get trash and this the motherfucker this the motherfucker trash ass dude by him, himself You know, love after life after lockout, they be fight, they be faking that, faking that shit. They be, they be, <laughs> these motherfuckers think they slick. They be putting on scenes that didn't even happen. <laughs> That's crazy. They they do previews, right? But sometimes those scenes don't even happen. You know what I'm saying? Like the last one I seen, um, it said it was like a preview, and then I guess the police was behind him. Well, you know what? I'll let you watch it, then you, then you, you'll see what I'm talking about. Has anything happened between you and Shane? Is he still living in the house? You gotta stop lying to me. And this dude, he now this is a malignant narcissist right here. How you will get mad at your husband, the one that you pick over this guy, but yeah, you will see him and him at the same time. You started with bullshit. You ended with bullshit. Now look at you. You're a single. You're a single mother with four kids, and your motherfucker value went. <sighs> but again, your value went down anyway before the kids. I mean, look at you. You peaked in high school, and you and you been down. And you been downhill ever since. Tell me about this girl that you've been dating. And this dude. I see that damn comb over. 
dude, you bald headed. Just just inv just uh embrace it. Just just shove that shit off, man. Just embrace embrace it though. You know what I'm saying? Dude, you're bald. That's a comb over. You're bald. You're bald headed. I can see it. You know what I'm saying? Just it is what it is. Just shake that shit off. Um. I need a cab. Yo, yo. What oh, the is the problem? I hate being played. Let's get things set up here. This ought to go down good. She's finally. Was that a low, a uh, left, a left, a left bird? One of those uh, left. Luffables or some shit like that. I haven't seen those in years. Here, Samuel. Well, Tina. Hi, Stan. How are you? How are you, sweetie? I'm doing good. Me and Tina go back a long way. We've dated. Off and on, I guess it was for a year or so. I love that shirt. Thank you. When COVID-19 hit, and we imploded. Oh, yeah, I love that shirt, too. Back in 1995. Loaded because she has uh, two grandchildren, and they're in school. You know, you're thinking, well, if they're going to get it, then they're going to give it to you. So, of course, you can't be involved in a situation where you think you're going to die. You remember Samuel? Yeah. But, um... We never lost touch, never. Hi, Samuel. Can you smell my finger? Made something to eat here for you. That's sweet. I can't wait to hear all the oh, juicy gossip. Oh, my gossip. goodness. <laughs> you been dating a lot now, or what have you been up no, to? No, just raising the grandkids. Raising the yeah. grandkids. You're about the hottest <laughs> grandma I know. Well, thank you. And I know quite a few. Uh, I'm sure you do. <laughs> 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 Tell me about you, Stan. Well. This girl that you've been dating. I don't even know where to begin with Lisa. I tried to make her happy, and it just seems like it's impossible. Was she making you happy? Well, there were times, but we're taking a break um, that may never end. When Lisa first got out of prison, I was captivated. I was hooked. Well. Wow. Boy, you really have low expectation expectations, dude. You was co you was cultivated for that. Boy, I guess uh, beauty is really be in the eyes of the beholder. Breakfast in bed. Just for you, my sweet. But I underestimated how much she wanted material things constantly. Altogether, I've spent about twenty five thousand dollars on Lisa. <laughs> Wasn't worth it, no. How many people have you baptized? Probably 10, 15. The most important thing about it all, really, Lisa, is that you're going to come across a lot of people in your life and you'll be able to share with them an experience that salvation is real, that faith is real. It is. And that it'll carry you through even these hard times. Yeah, you know, in the, your life. the darkest. Absolutely. So I'm here today. I'm getting baptized. Brand new start, um, a new beginning. You want to turn this way? Cold. <laughs> yeah, it's That's cold. cold. I've been to prison seven times, but now I've broken, you know, the cycle. Oh. Okay. All right. You know, everybody, I think God is in jail because that's where everybody be finding him at, though. I think Jesus is in jail, too, because that's where everybody finds him, too. So, you know, just saying. <sighs> it's not even another chapter. It's just a whole other book um, with God. This is about the symbolizing of the old person going down and somebody new coming back up. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. That's yeah. a wonderful choice that you've made. Stan and I, we have not been talking since we broke up. Chilly, ain't it? Uh -huh. Yeah. You know, the guy that I talked to on the phone in prison was kind, caring, <laughs> compassionate. Okay. But then it's like a, flip, a switch got flipped and uh, I don't know. <laughs> All because I wouldn't jump in his bed? Does that say Tina? Yeah. You're supposed to be with me, not this Tina chick and whoever else you got going on. I'm going to create a fake profile. He's writing. Let's see what he says. We can have dinner, wine, weed. Are you no good mother <laughs> This is up, for real. Been talking to anybody lately? Just Tina. You know Jasmine Portella? 
Mm, kind of. You're a f- liar. I thought that by being with. So, she got mad because she chit chat. She chest tested him. Hmm. Yeah. She better be glad somebody would want her with an ugly ass. The guy um, like Stan would help me get my life right, get my relationship back with my kids, um, get it right with God. But I was definitely wrong. That was <laughs> real wrong. I want you to take your right hand and put it over your nose and your mouth. You and that weave is definitely wrong, yo, for real. Dude, you, your shit's too spaced out. I don't even wear weave, and I can just tell you, yo, yo, your shit's paced. Yo, your, uh, your hair is paced out. You know what I'm saying? Too many spaces, though. You know what I'm saying? It's just spaced out, and you got one, you got one like here. You got one, you got one braid here, one braid here, one braid here, one braid here. here. They're not consort. They're not, you know, together like they're supposed to. Right now, I'm living at my brother's. I need to be my by myself and work towards my goals that I have set. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Ain't nobody about thee, Mercedes, Espiritu Santi, Amen. That's how they used to say it back in the day when Christianity first started out. <laughs> Thank you, God. <laughs> I think that there's a chance for Stan and I to reconcile in the future if, you know, he's willing to change. Yeah, God bless. Give me one mm -hmm. of these, Stan. Mm -hmm. Just like a pizza. We oh, always I used know. to like pizza. We always ate pizza. I'm always here for you after every breakup. You are. Mm-hmm. Right. So you should just stick with me. You got a good point there. You want to come over here and get comfortable? Oh, you want to get comfortable? <laughs> Tina is close to being the perfect woman for me right now. Wow. Everybody has room for improvement. Um, and she she could maybe lose a few pounds. Smooth as silk. I, I don't know what to say about that one, bro. I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> mm. Sparks, you don't want sparks. I know, right? <laughs> Only between us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we've been together for a while. And you ah, there goes my favorite couple. Brittany and AJ. My my two favorite my two favorite people. A man and Somebody who needs to take that damn wig off because you're looking kind of chisel fair there, though. You know what I'm saying? You've been there for me through everything, so I want to give you this. Brittany and Ray. That's all I gotta say about that. You know? We always talked about getting married. I feel like you deserve this. I appreciate you being there for me and just sticking with me. Okay, I do have to give it to her. She do got some knockers on it, though. I mean, she cute-ish, but she just need to take that um, take that wig off and take off that makeup. She looking beautiful, man. Beautiful. Do everything, and I want to say I love you. I mean, I love you too. So this is like a promise ring. She said engagement ring. Uh, I don't know, dude. I don't know. But I mean. Ooh, that face changed. Like from happy to oh shit. And like, like that. What does a promise ring mean when you're 34? I mean, a, prom is a promise ring from 34. At thirty at thirty four, the same as if it was sixty or it was fifty or forty. It's a promise. I mean, do you really want to get engaged right now? I'm like, bro, he's not exactly in a position to be engaged to anybody or get married to anybody, especially with that hundred forty four thousand dollar or how how much it is retur retur uh, restoration though. 
retori- uh, you know, he has to pay that shit back to the government. She's not thinking smart. She's not thinking smart. It's just, it's just, it's just, a promise ring is just basically like, I promised to do everything I said I would do. Like, I thought it was supposed to be a marriage. I mean, it is. Dude, you need to shut the hell up. Don't involve yourself with this. Involve yourself with, you know, men business. Well, never mind. Never mind. I just seen a shadow on him, so. Never mind. Never mind. It's a marriage. It's not but a marriage. What's all this? What's all this? What you making your legs? What you, what you making those faces? Uh, faces uh, for? <laughs> what is that about? He ain't asking you. Our friend, her, her homegirl, and her sister. <laughs> he wasn't asking you. I just need to take a break. Yes, you definitely need to take a break. Take the damn wig off. Again, why is this dude involved? Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, he's uh, yeah, he's uh, older. Ra reading Rainbow. Look up in the sky. He looks like he's going high. Take a look, is it a book? He's part of the rainbow. I really thought like engagement was supposed to come. And it We're is. talking about children, you gave me a promise ring. Just, just be grateful when he's even thinking with you, dealing with you, dude. My thing is to show you that I appreciate you. I don't Sticking want with me. appreciation. I want commitment. I am committed. Dude, he's still with you. Even though his parent, his uh, his mother barely didn't, barely wanted to beat you. That's just, that, that's just, that's number one. I seen in previous episodes, so that's why I can say, that's why I'm saying that. Anybody who actually watched Life After Lockup. They don't see that too. That her her mother didn't even didn't barely want to beat him, you know. So talking about I got this, got this, um, this, you know, condition, this condition. Like, dude, who you fucking, the mother or the daughter? A quantum mind supposed to know. You know what I'm saying? But you're just not ready to propose. It's not that I'm not ready. Did that hundred? Forty-three thousand amount that he owes by the government did not did that really um, eclipse um, did that you know did she lost her mind with that though did that um, escape her mind that she still owes that one hundred forty-three he still owes that one hundred forty-three thousand dollars and if you get married to him that becomes your marriage that becomes your debt as well he's a fucking head ready this shouldn't even be public. I feel like this is a private conversation. What, what, what's his face on? What, what, what's this? What? He wasn't asking you. Stop making those fucking faces. Look like Stephen Wonder out the glass. Where you know Stephen Wonder out the glass. Like, stop that. Conversation. I feel like he should have known that she would have expected more than the promise ring. My fucking business. Not how our family operates. Dude, I know how your uh, family uh, operates, and uh, now nah, I usually don't like to um, diss my own women. I mean, I do love my black women, but damn it, girl, you pretty, but you like somebody that, I don't know. I don't know whether to punch you or get at you, but the way you're looking, you, look, you, might, you might like both. And this dude need to mind his own fucking business. Were you expecting that? He said when he got uh, out no. there, I wasn't expecting her. that. Do I look 17? But this Do her? she look 17? No, she don't look 17. A okay. promise ring is for teenagers. Mind your fucking business. A promise a, a pres ring is for anybody at any fucking age. Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. I know your eggs are, you know, drying up, but come on, man. Let's be real. Everybody's out there judging me. 
I'm too old for a damn promise ring. You should have been like, I'm giving my woman a diamond. So I can't just spoil you to show you that I care for you? Our relationship is different, Ray. I'm not going to lie to you right now. I did think you were going to propose. That's what you get for thinking. You're not supposed to think. You're not supposed to expect. Just let it flow. Let it flow. That's what your problem. You was thinking. Shouldn't think. Just let it flow. Just let it flow. And you did So, it. just because I didn't propose, it's not right. That was not a time to give me a promise ring in front of everybody. I'm trying to do something to show you that I appreciate Wait a minute. Who are you in a relationship with? Him or everybody else? Because me personally, if you would have came at me like that, I'm like, okay, fine. I'll tell you what, since you want to be in a relationship for everybody else, why don't you talk to everybody else and, and leave me the fuck alone? Since you want to, since you want to mind ring, because it's not a engagement ring, it's a pen ring. Appreciate you. I'm not trying to be like a regular degular ass dude. If I go out and I spend thousands of dollars on a ring just to say I appreciate you being there for me, that should show a That's lot. That's weird to me. You should appreciate me enough to make me your wife. What are you saying right now? We've been promised. See? That's why she's not a wife. Because she was expecting. She was thinking. You don't think. It, it, women, I'm, I'm going to give you a little advice. I'm, I'm going to give you a. The top secret of dealing with a man, okay? Number one, don't expect shit. Just let it flow. Do not ask dumbass questions. Do not ask, do, do not ask, what are we? Because if you really want to know the answer, they will tell you that. They will have no issue with that. Just let it flow. Don't expect anything. Don't anticipate anything. I guarantee you. You'll get exactly what you want. Just let it flow. Let it flow. Prison stuff when you were in prison. That's all we did. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't. Those were promises. I mean, you came home and you did everything you said you were going to do. So don't come out and tell me that you're going to promise to marry me when the 33rd of February. So I think you should hold on to this because I don't want to promise. I want a commitment. There, I came with you, dude. I know what he's thinking. Look, I dealt with your fucking ass, mammy. Did not want to meet me. Then give me all these fucking conditions. Then I dealt with your fucking attitude. I dealt with every fucking thing that you know. What I'm saying you said it did whatever. And the one fucking time, the one time, I give you something appreciated, and I say I want to promise. I want to promise to marry you. But I don't have. I I want to wait until you know it's right to be engaged. That's all. But you 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 think it's short. You need to think long. You should think too short. And that's why there's so many fucking single feet motherfuckers right now. Cause you think short. You're not thinking the long game. Man, shit. She he better than me. Because he better than me because I take that motherfucker bring back and get my goddamn money back. Fuck her. Shit. This could not have went worse. I'm gonna talk to y'all. Hey. But oh, you know, she 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 do she get she is stacked, I'll give her that. Yeah, she uh hmm. Yeah. And her her girl did to her home girl? She she fires a motherfucker though. I'm saying, I mean, I have to admit, she, she's, she's a thickum. She's definitely a thickum. Lucky bastard. Going down. But she's still tripping though. I don't give a fuck. She's still tripping though. But I'm not anything but Trez Penn. Uh, Promise ring. Ugh. That's a catch twenty two there, bro. I mean, she did all this for you. I mean, I mean. You know, unless you're not feeling the engagement, right, that you know it's not right, it's not you know it's not tight. Because number one, you didn't even get the be uh, blessing of her parents to for y'all to even get married. Not that you need it, but I know some people still you know traditional and all that dumb shit. But 
You didn't even get the you didn't even get the approval of a, of her mother yet though. You know what I'm saying? So come on, man. Getting again to these uh getting engaged with these premises on it's like it'd be phony though, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I wish you would understand that. Think long. Don't think short. I was really hoping this would be a special moment and I'm just really disappointed right now. Hey, 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 what the hey, is the problem? Hey, hey, what? Hey, hey, hey. Yo, yo, yo. And I wore this just because I thought somebody was going to propose to me. Oh. Now, I still wouldn't do it, man. Nope, 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 nope. I mean, one is, is I think she's, I think she's full of shit. She bogus as fuck. On the other hand, I... I, I kind of see where she's going. I see why she's feeling the way she's feeling. I, I, I understand. I understand. Because she's thinking, well, I did all this for you. We was in prison. And you made promises to me. And, you know, stuff like that. You say, I want to marry you. I love you. I want to be with you. Da, 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 da. But then you give me a promise ring. I mean, come on, man. So, I'm seeing both sides. But I'm more. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not saying it because he's a guy dealer. But. I'm on his side because he's thinking longer. He's thinking with logic. She's thinking with emotions. And she and logic is distant is distant to her thought process process when it comes to, you know, this whole promise ring thing. There she's thinking the short game. He's thinking the long game. So of course I'm going to be more on his side because he's thinking logically. Just saying. I hate being played. I love you. I don't want you to walk away from me. You that intimidated by me, bitch? What gun? Take your stupid ass like get the out of my life. Saddle up, saddle up. Man, you better here comes my second very, uh, very couple right here, though. You know what I'm saying? Another Britney and Malala and Masato. 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 Baby, let's go. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hold on. Ain't gotta go home, but you can't stay here. Marcillo. Marcillo. See? That's my other favorite couple right here. He's only two years older than me. That's not something. Yeah. You know, we need to do this more often. I'm still thinking about last night. <laughs> felt good. It felt nice and rejuvenating. Yeah. Was, putting up with my kids is a lot. I love the little devils, but they're, they're little tyrants. It's hard being parents. There's nothing wrong with that, you know? Having three children has definitely slowed our sex life down, and also it's been. As a former stepfather, I can I can honestly tell you that yes, children are the biggest children are the biggest cop blockers. I'm telling you, you have like maybe one or two, you could get away with some shit. But if you have like no no period, you have kids, you can't really. Do what you really want to do behind closed doors because they either knock on the door and they say, can I go see what you do? This and the other. And you're so damn tired, you don't even want to talk to, uh, talk nor touch each other. So, yeah, children are, are big. Children are cop blockers. I'm just going to be real with you on that one. Yes, they are. Very much so. And stressful with everything else I have going on in my life. All the with the sober living house, and then getting a message from my biological father and trying to process all the my mom said about him. It's just really important that we're finally able to have some intimacy. <laughs> Feeling like a new Britney. I think that you and I need to start doing things like that for our relationship a lot more <laughs> often. You know, just it's okay for us to take time for us. Yeah, for sure. You know, we haven't. Yes, every couple. Every couple should definitely take time for themselves. I mean, I mean, dude. Hell, even hell, even God took a day off. I mean, shit, man. According to the myth, though, you know what I'm saying. 
of the Bible. We've talked about this for a while, but I think that it might be a lot of fun to bring Amanda up here for a night. Amanda, really? Why not? Amanda is my ex-girlfriend from prison. Who are you seeing? I've been talking to this girl that I was... I mean, she is cute, though. I mean... <laughs> she, and she's by... And, oh, by the way, uh, Brittany's bisexual, so... Huh. That, that, that could be a vintage there. Could be a vintage. What? <laughs> I feel like I like girls better than I like guys. Well, you could thank me for that. <laughs> oh, Britt, you'll always be my number one. The sexual attraction is still there between Amanda and I. Well, I don't think that just because, like, I'm a married woman that that would just, like, naturally go away. It's still a part of who I am. Did, did I not do not. enough? And I understand. I understand if you want another woman. If I was her husband, I would not, I would not up, up here to her. If she wants to be with a woman, even though she's married to me, I will have to bite the bullet and, you know, make her pat, make her happy. And to get her, to, you know, keep her happy, I have to, you know, broaden my horizons a little bit. And as long as I get to watch shit, that's all I got to say. As long as I get to watch or join, you know what I'm saying? I'll join too if you want me, if you want me to, you know what I'm saying? Which should be more logic, you know. Was it not enough for uh, a special event? Baby, you know that you're enough for me. I really didn't mean to upset you. Surprise. I was not thinking. Not upset, but surprised. Okay, well, listen to me. I was not thinking about Amanda. Like you didn't have Hold on. I definitely know Brittany has had Amanda on her mind for a long time. I kind of came between when they weren't or didn't have a chance to close that chapter. So I know there's still a little unresolved feelings there. I was. Look. You just got to bite the bullet there, bro. I mean, you have to, you know, let her be together. Let her be with the girl. With your camera. With some whipped cream. And a whip. <laughs> and you just have to. Watch or join, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, you know. Just gotta bite the bullet. Or the click. I don't want to. It's your girlfriend. And now you can't be my friend? Like with benefits? At this point, I think Brittany. Dude, he is so. Man, look here, bro. I'll be real with you, dog. You play, bro. You play. Wild horses. Cannot give you away from that shit though, man. You was you you was thinking about dude, you've been thinking about that shit, man. I know you have. Okay, I'm thinking about it right now. Shit. Establishes those boundaries and limits. Perfect. <laughs> ah, see, I knew it. He liked that shit three years ago, he liked that shit now. <laughs> Perfect. No, I never did. I never dated a woman that was a bisexual. That'd be kind of interesting. Especially if she loves me join. Established. I could never replace the bond that Brittany and Amanda have. But at the same time, it kind of makes me feel like I'm not appreciated right now. You really think about Amanda a lot, don't you? I wasn't thinking about Amanda. I was thinking about sex. So I was like damn like we had such wild sex and this was so fun and we have to plan our next rendezvous so this is about your sexuality and not so much like you have an attraction to amanda yes that's on which one <laughs> both Deep day, <laughs> just say you want your cake and eat it, sir. that's all i was just thinking about having fun so wait, you don't have a reason with amanda i think about it you know, my husband and I, we've been married for almost three years now, and I definitely can't say that I miss dating women. I mean, but I wouldn't mind having a little fun. <laughs> At least the house is still standing. I know, right? Oh, I'm so happy. I understand. I like having fun with multiple women myself, so I definitely understand what... I, I definitely understand her... her uh, I definitely understand what she's going through. Yes, I like multiple women myself, but... I understand what she's going through, man. I, I, I understand her plight. I definitely understand. Happy to be home. I'm still here. Hi. 
Oh, hi bye guys. Bye. Oh. Hi. Oh. Hey, how was it? It was good. You guys have a good time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you guys? It was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're probably ready for a nap. Lay down. Oh, yeah? But they did really good. Oh, yeah, I gotta show you. Come on. Oh, Grandpa. Come on. Come on, Grandpa. Oh, wow, my, my dad did really good. Yeah. I'll... I knew he would. I mean, once you master parenting, I don't feel like you ever lose that skill. Yeah, Gil's a good guy. I appreciate that. Um. Listen, I wanted to apologize for earlier because I was really not trying to take away from you and the moment that we shared. And I think it got kind of misconstrued somewhere along the lines, but that was not my intention. You know, just wanted to know, like, if it was going to happen or not. And I got excited. <laughs> what would it make you happy? If you look in the mirror, you're not exactly the mirror image of Amanda. you two different type of women. You're a little bit just taller, stop. a little bit more filled just out, stop. a little bit. I'm really hot. I'm going to go get a glass of water. All right. I'm going to take a nap. Come on, doodle. I've been trying to get a threesome out of Marcelino and Amanda since the day I came home from prison. So, from what I know, Amanda. Well, what's good? What's 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 what's, uh, what's up? Why is it taking so long? He ain't gonna say no. I I know for a I know for a fact he ain't gonna say no to that. I definitely wouldn't say no. She. Amanda is single right now, and I don't really feel like she has anything holding her back. And the sooner these two jump on board, the better. If any now, these two, on the other hand, ugh. I mean, they're both ugly. Especially the manly looking one. Look at you. You're too pale. Your hair's uneven. You look dusty. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe old dude got roasted by a motherfucker with the quaff. <laughs> that was funny. Anyone can show just cause why Nicole and Tia may not be lawfully joined together. Speak now or forever hold your peace. The clock is ticking, I feel like it's do or die. Stand up and fight back. I guess they don't have many, for, many friends. Because I only see her, her, the father, the mother, some friend, or whatever, but not a lot of people. This is my time to rise. Boy. Dumbass number one in the middle. Dumbass number two right here. And put it all together. This bitch right here. Nicole. Nicole. No Cole. I guess. Crazy beauty. What am I doing here? Exactly. What the fuck are you doing there, dude? I mean, for real. What are you doing there? Why are you there? Why are you there? Ugly ass. Part of me kind of just wants to walk over there. I uh, let myself be seen in front of everybody. But the other part of me don't want to ruin this girl's wedding. It's crazy because I love her still. I don't hear nothing. Love don't live here for me, you, man. Love don't live here for no more for you, dude. And... Seeing it, that visual cold in that dress with somebody else with somebody that I don't like like it, <laughs> you look slow every time you look slow uh, man fuck her man fuck those bitches somebody would have told me when I first met you that I would one day be your wife I probably would have left I had no plans of finding my future wife in such a horrible place I'm kind of starting to feel like this is the end. It's only so much even I can take. I'm yours, and I've been yours since day one. You're the best thing that's happened to me. And unless you want to end up in a body bag, I hope you feel the same. <laughs> she never, ever, ever loved me the way I love her. You just now realizing that? You just now realizing that? 
I'm gonna say this again. You just now realizing that. You just now that just came to you. Did you did you think of that by yourself? You just now realize that they she didn't give two fucks about you at all. You just now realizing that. Boy, I swear, man. Oh, where her mother? Please smack the shit out of him. You're the girl of my dreams, my partner in crime. <laughs> I fall more in love with you each day we're together. She is choosing her side as clear as day. Ooh. That's crazy. By the power invested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, I now pronounce you married. What? You now kiss your wife. So, you gotta kiss me yeah, like you yeah, miss baby. me. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> love you. Damn, she gonna get a elite look. At least Britney, not to me. At least Britney has some that's uh got some good taste when it came to women. Come women, I don't know what the fuck this bitch is thinking. You didn't want a man, but yeah, you'll get a man. You'll get a woman who looks just like a man. Make that make sense. I present to you the happy couple. Let's get out of here. That's what. I love your life now. You're stuck with me. You look beautiful. You look handsome. Enough. What's up, man? You see how they look, how they walk right past you, dude. She didn't give two fucks about you, bro. Huh. Big ass. <laughs> I really yeah, do. Like this coffee mouth. What? What are you Mother doing? Mother ball right oh, here, yeah. dude. I don't know why you're here, but you need to leave. If you want to be here for I support, do. right? Here comes this little mother behind mine a tree. No, Nicole. I'm leaving. Stop. No, 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 to show my support? I wouldn't want you to show up nowhere where I'm at. If I show up, I'm gonna take your oh, bitch. Right, let's go. Mia, stop! See that? Play stupid courses, play uh, stupid games, and get stupid prices. Hmm. Hey, another thing, too, man. I don't know what makes women think they can really be the man, be, if anything, anything physical. The ski, even the skittiest man, the, even the skinniest man in the world, is stronger than the biggest woman in the world. Stronger than the, is stronger than the strongest woman in the world, though. Just saying. You ready to get this done? I'm participating in a ceremony to uh, begin the mourning process. Your last chance, John. You're not drinking that, are you? He's still shady as. I'm glad you're still hanging around with me, Samuel, because you're somebody I can talk to that doesn't argue. <laughs> and I don't feel so alone when you're laying on my lap. Oh, just go away. Just ignore me. What do you say, buddy? Looks like Lisa's is gone. You know, you could help more, too. You could be a better gentleman than you are sometimes. <laughs> Maybe I'll uh, call the Vandalia Correctional Institute for Women and see if I can find another girl. You want to look good for the ladies? Yeah, here we go. Yeah, we gotta get that lion look. It's the crazy uh, Clet dude. <laughs> With that fucked up comb over. You don't like that idea, huh? Okay, I ain't gonna lie. No, I ain't gonna lie. She is thick as hell, though, man. Okay. Now, okay, now she look a little better. She took that damn wig off. Man, she got some... She is thick, though. I want to talk to my girls. We didn't get a chance to talk about last night. I am actually... Okay, I ain't gonna lie. She is a lucky motherfucker, though. But that, uh... That, uh, what he's wearing... What she's wearing is not... It's not flatting, though, you know what I'm saying? It's, she need, like, a, maybe a one-piece or 
like, you know, cover the whole, whole, but, but, you know, I mean, she look, still look good, though. But she needed to calm down with that thought process, though. Day long, don't think short. Aggravated with Ray, I look stupid. <laughs> So how's everything going? Last time I seen you was last night. Did y'all talk about it? You good? No, we haven't talked about nothing. Went to the room and went to sleep. So yeah. you didn't say nothing to him? You didn't talk about it? Nothing. Still dry to him? I mean, I just felt dry. Because I kind of thought it was dry to give me a promise ring on my birthday. You know, I have to admit, man. I have to admit, when it comes to women for women fans, not bad, though. Not bad. Especially this one right here with the white. It's like, what are you promising? The whole relationship has been a promise. He was in prison, y'all. And I'm fully committed. So now that you're out, you can't fully commit? I should have gave him. I promise when you get out of prison, I'll be your girlfriend. <laughs> you're childish. No, no, I'm not childish. That's the same thing. <laughs> I don't. No, it's not. It is not the same thing, damn it. No, it's not want to be ungrateful but this is not what i deserve this is not where our relationship deserve and that's another thing women um you don't deserve anything you get what you get there's no deserving you deserve to breathe that's only you deserve other than that you don't deserve shit just letting y'all know that Relationship is at this point, and I'm just not gonna entertain this kid like behavior in a damn promise ring. Look, huh? You better go. You got a promise ring. I promise your ass you gonna shut the hell up. <laughs> I think I think it's a proposal. Oh, oh he proposed to oh, the he, he proposed to the yes. girl. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's cute. I don't care. Where's the ring? I gave it back to him. They gave, gave him, him back the ring? Yes, oh my God. I gave him back the ring and I told him what I want. But you're turning down the promise. I, I did turn down the promise. You know. So you just don't want the oh, promise ring? I don't ring. what meaning is behind a promise ring when you're 34. I mean, I, I do see. Again, the same the same meaning comes with a motherfucking 60. It's a promise. You don't have to do shit. Let's just be, let's just be real about that shit. He don't have to do a shit. You don't have to do a motherfucking thing. He ain't gotta do shit but stay black and die. That's what he can do. That's what he has to do. M marrying you is not it's not part of that uh, it's not part of that process. You don't understand that shit. Just saying. Your point. What if he doesn't ask you to marry him? Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Oops. 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 Then we have a lot to talk about. Give me a drink. The night we had last night was. Oh. How's Brittany feeling? How, how she acting? I mean. Me not proposing to her. Mm -hmm. It's taking ass. I don't want to get married. That's one thing to say something, Bray, when you were in prison and have promises, but it's different when you get out because you have to actually Do follow that. through with that stuff. Right now, she's not clear on where you guys stand. Wait. I don't know if it can even clearer. Where they, stand, where they stand, though. I mean, dude. He put up all his with hard bullshit. And it's not clear what they are to each other. I don't think it's him that needs to be clear. Just saying. Let me do it the right way. Let me make it special. And just let me do it when I feel like I'm ready. Like, is that a promise that you're going to even marry her by the end of this year? I'm gonna talk to Brittany and I'm trying to make some stuff right. I'm mad, I'm embarrassed, I'm frustrated. Well, maybe I'm getting more, maybe I'm, maybe I'm getting a little emotional though, you know what I'm saying? But seriously, we would have to have a serious talk about respect though, for real. It's not like I'm never gonna propose. What's the plan for tonight? Are we going to the club? It's still your birthday. Yeah. Everybody, everybody together. Yes, birthday. we gonna make sure you have a good time. Okay. Oh. Where he come from? Hey, hey, hey. Can you walk with me? <laughs> he 
he's better to me because that was not going to be a request. I'm not going to say, can you walk with me? I'll say, walk with me. It's not going to be a, re it was, it was it's not, it would not be a request if I say it. And it's like, I love you so much. And I just want to say, will you marry me? <laughs> what? Damn, wait a minute. He is, damn, wait a minute. 46, 28, that's, damn, wait a minute, hold on. That's, that's 18 years of, maybe you don't get your old ass on somewhere with that bullshit. Yay, fresh. You got six kids. Well, seven now. You know what I'm saying? Well, oops, my bad. Well, you, you got seven now with her stepdaughter, though, with the stepdaughter. Oh, and the, uh, yeah, the, the, you know, she prayed it too. So, damn. Eight fucking kids wanted to start taking care of. Shit. Well, you don't take care of the 60 gas, so shit. Are you, are you kidding? I'm not. <laughs> I've been thinking about this for a while. Yes? Yes. Yes! <laughs> she said yes! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm in complete shock. You're shaking. I know. I really just don't even know what to think, but I am happy. <laughs> I'm just proud of you on everything. The fact that you're staying clean, the fact that you're doing everything you're supposed to be doing so you can be a good mom for Abby and, and you know you can always lean on me when you need something and you make me a better person too. <laughs> this feels absolutely amazing. When I was in prison, I just wanted to have a normal, happy life. So far, it feels like a dream, but here I am pregnant. I really just don't know whatever kind of reaction he's going to have. Wow, you guys wrapped this up hey. already? You guys are gone forever. Ready to go? It's fine. Well, got some news. Wait, wait. You guys send it. What? We're getting married. <laughs> oh. Mom! Oh. I think that mom is just holding on to the past and, uh, you know, all the lies and the skeletons in the closet when it comes to Sean. Just celebrate. But I mean, do you blame her, though? I mean, dude, you did, you did do some bogus shit, though. You had sex with the girl. And he said, oh, by the way, I have six kids. That was some bullshit. <laughs> oh, dude. That was some bullshit. It's my relationship, and I forgave him for it. So she should respect me and support me and do the same. We can't. You can't support stupid. I'm just going to be real. You can't support stupid. My water? Get your water. All right, All right. guys. Cheers Boy. to the engagement. I hope you're ready. Hold on. You're not drinking that, are you? What do you yeah. mean you're not drinking it? She didn't even tell him yet. Well, I actually took you on that walk to tell you I'm pregnant. What? Yeah. What? What? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I was not expecting this at all. Like, I was so wrapped up with this proposal that I wasn't even thinking about anything else. Like, I, I didn't even know you were pregnant. I just love you so I love much. You too. Well, it's baby number seven for him. Damn, seven kids, bro. And you don't even take care of the six you got. And child support is not taking care of them. That's just giving their money. To that they're old. You know, I always did wonder how come he, she didn't marry the one with the six kids, the one he has six kids with. But yeah, you got six kids by her. Hmm. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. 
Baby number, number two, two for me. me. Mm -hmm. What did it get? You mean to tell me you have sex that many times to have six kids? You would think after the third one, be like, wait a minute, what the fuck we doing? Why are we, why are we not getting married? I'm just saying. Oh, look at that. You're a real one, girl. You're going to be a big sister. <laughs> uh, the day has been a day. <laughs> I am really super pissed that she did just get out, and then she ends up with Sean, and now pregnant. Baby number seven. Oh, yeah. You know, his her mother knew he was full of shit from the get go though, you know what I'm saying? Chug this Chug one. Yeah. yeah, there you go. A little too much for me to take in all Here here, bro. You you gonna need this more than I did. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. You need this more than I do. Here you go. Here you go. Smoke and be merry. <laughs> All at once. He's still shady as <laughs> What do you think about that? I hope that he's not holding on to no more secrets. Hopefully, all of them fell out of his little skeleton bag, but I got my eye on him. Plot twist. I should got 12 kids. <laughs> Thing happened between you and Shane? What? Bro, bro. Nicola can't keep up with you. Do you what Coming. See, she got good taste in women, though. Unlike uh, Nicole. Hi. Oh, and Deontay, too. He has no good taste in women whatsoever. Like, damn. What are you, fix, mix, Mr. Fix-It? You get these trash-ass females. They try to fix them? You can't fix bro. You can't fix uh, dumbass. You can't fix trash. You just got to throw it away. That's like trying to revive a... Depro uh, um, that's like trying to uh, revive a... A used banana, though, you know what I'm saying? The bananas can only use guy just throw away the pill, pill, um, pill, though, you know what I'm saying? That's what he should have did with her. But she, this Brittany right here, she had a good taste of women, though. I'll give her that. Hi, it's here. Do you want a drink? Yes, please. Hey. I mean, but she do like decent though you know what I'm saying I like uh the couple and the, and the uh I like the couple uh, no problem what's going on not much how are you good 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 my dad flew down here from Alaska and um sit down sit down <laughs> you know my dad and Marcelino like they got together and planned this whole like little getaway and we went on a horse ride and she she definitely looked decent though. Mm -hmm. She definitely got a good taste of women. I give her that. We had a good time and um, we get try it on. Yeehaw! Oh, is this is this <laughs> That's from your guys' experience? Yeah, yeah. 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 Little cowgirl. Yeehaw! Oh, that looks good on you. Yeehaw! <laughs> you should come out there sometime. <laughs> Have you ever rode a horse before? A couple. <laughs> <laughs> Were they horses? <laughs> They're more like ass. <laughs> Dogs. Recently, I feel like my husband and I have reconnected in ways that we haven't for a while. They're gonna need a pineapple. They're gonna do. They're gonna be the banana, uh, banana, uh, pineapple people. Oh, for the, for those who know, when I'm talking about the pineapple, basically, if you see somebody with the pineapple and the uh, the pine the pineapple uh, top is on top, and or if it's flipped. They're they're swingers though, you know what I'm saying? That's the that's their little code. But the idea of sex with my husband and my ex girlfriend together, 
It makes me feel extremely like turned on by the situation. You want to go swimming? The pool's nice right now. Yes. Where do you want me to change it? In my room. <laughs> <laughs> I do think that Marceline knows into it. I don't. He's not. He's not fooling me. Is it just this? Marshall be back in a Exactly. Do whore horses will be able to uh, pull you off of that shit, goddamn boy? A little bit. He just dropped the kids off to my sister's Ooh, house. Good night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ready. We're always talking about me and Mars. What's going on with you? Are you still seeing that girl? <laughs> no. What happened? I told you I was just talking to her. So you're single? Single. Do you ever think about prison? What about prison? Uh... The time that I should have taken a shower with you. <laughs> in prison, you know, you're always trying to sneak a kiss in, or like I would go sneak in her bed in the morning when they'd unlock the doors. But I mean, we couldn't really do as much as we'd want to. So I was really waiting for her to come home, and she was in a relationship with Marcelino. I was your girlfriend. And now you can't be my friend with okay. benefits? I made you a lot of promises, and you made me a lot of promises, and you broke them. Goodbye. I can't like live if you're mad at me. Like, okay, I'm not mad at you. I love you and I want the best for you. I really do. And if he treats you good and you, that's but what I still you want, want you a part of my life. Okay, I'll, I'll be your friend. Don't you feel like we have unfinished business? What the f does that mean? You and I, or take one goddamn guess. The whole what three something? <laughs> do you think he'd even be down to share you? I mean. He said that he would be open and talk about it. I mean, I've always wanted to be with you. Yeah, he'll be like open to to talk about it. Talk about it. You know, home out of prison and not have to share you. So you do think about it? Of course. I know that I can't have her all to myself, so I'm okay with sharing her with her husband. I mean, are you serious? Or are you just like... Yeah, I'm serious. Just because I'm married doesn't mean that I don't get to, you know, fulfill my wants and how I feel. And I feel like I always wondered, like, how it would be with you if we weren't in prison. That's all I'm saying. Hey, shit. Now, usually I don't... Usually I know the, these women are not exactly my type, but they're my type, though, you know what I'm saying? If they were... Mm, certain a certain difference though, you know what I'm saying? But I have to admit though, I'm liking this. Hey babe, coming down right now. All right, I'll make myself a drink. You want one? Yeah, make one for Amanda too. We'll see how this goes. Where's the pineapple at? Where's the pineapple? Something on your mind, go and spit it out. If you got something on your chest, go and get it off. We don't have a moment to waste. For the last few days, we've been running in place. What's up? <coughs> now she a bogus motherfucker, yo. Like I said earlier, I'm a narcissist. I'm a lytic. Narcissist, though. That's what she is, though. <clears throat> I can feel the toxicity with these two, these two people. What's up with you? You know, we came out here to talk. Oh, as you long give me, you as give as me anxiety. Has anything happened between you and Shane? Is he still living in the house? That's neither here nor there. How much up has he done? Who said we're still together? You gotta, you gotta stop lying to me. You know, like. What are we talking you call, about? You call me down here. You know I got a girl. You know me and Julie. Like we're doing, we're doing good. You're doing good. Forget this. Forget this. Forget this. Has been his has been hoot you up. Look you up. Look like a you up sheet. That's on his last thread. Well, all relationships has its ups and downs. It's f***ed up some days and some days it's not. Was it love at first sight? Like, did you feel that instant connection with her? Uh, 
It was gradual, kind of. Gradual? Yeah, not like you. Yours was love at first sight, though, huh? Shut up. <laughs> I haven't made the best choices with men in my life. You included at times. But, um. Oh, by the way, uh, they're not even close to being divorced yet. They're still married, so, I mean. But she's just a used up. She's just a used up dial lap sack that peaked in high school. I don't know why I can't let you go. I feel like there's. I know why you can't let her go, let him go, cause without him and Sean, you really can't get anybody. I mean, who wants a woman with four? Who wants a single woman with four kids these these days? Let's see, your lips fake, your titties fake, your ass fake. You just fake as hell. Just saying. You 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 be halfway decent if you wasn't such a fucking narcissist. Hope for us, like somewhere down the line. I don't know why I can't ever like get over you. Letting Sean know that I love him and that I do want to make things work. That's why I'm here today. I feel like you can love more than one person. In this moment, I'm willing to put everything aside. If that means John is going to be the man I need him to be. Like, I don't know, is it our friendship? Like, is it everything we've been through? Is it like... We're both alike in a lot of ways. You do something up to me, I do something up to you. That's kind of, the, you know, the main reason why I never work. That's called toxicity. You know? Because we're always trying to get back at each other. From Shane coming out of prison, man, I knew he wasn't going to be able to stick with her. The couple times that I did speak to him, it's like, uh, you could tell he's a shady person, you know? I think I'm going to jump. I think I'm going to jump. I think I won't hit you, bro. I'm going to knock your out. Do something about it. He's not who you think he is. He's a, he's a crazy person. He's got a mean side to him. Lacey, Mary, and Shane, that was a totally dumb. But wait a minute. I remember seeing in early episodes that she had you um, arrested. Yeah, I don't be fuck with that. I will not fuck with that bitch either. Dumbass decision. I told you I was never gonna talk to you again if you got married. Right. And then you got married. Right. And then you had a kid. Right. It's like now nah, you just me over, man. And didn't even care. No, I did care. You know I do got feelings for for Lacey, but. There, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't have a, a. I don't know what you want. You always leave me in the dark. I'm always confused about you, but I love you. Are you really happy? You just want to, like, end this relationship and just, like, never talk to me ever again. Is that what you want? Do you want me to leave you alone forever? I don't want you to walk away from me. I'm extremely nervous having to tell Kelly that we're pregnant. She's going to be really freaking pissed off. I just left Kathy's and I'm headed to Cobb County Jail to get some kind of some kind of answers, some kind of information. Kathy can't get over there. Eric's not answering. I mean, it's it's important that somebody goes to figure out what the is going on. The worst case scenario is that she was arrested for violation of parole and she has a new charge. Damn! She could. Ah, damn. Oh, damn. Violation of probation and a new charge? Well, see you in 20 years. Be facing prison time again. I hope not, though. But just in case, you know. We never wanted to go back to prison. 
you know, I'm scared of what could happen if she has to go away. It's, it's sad, it's gonna be sad. So I can't see her today, but she is here. And she had new charges that could mean going back to prison for sure. I'm really hoping that her PO will come up here and talk to her and then will release her, but I don't know. This is Poppy. This call is from a corrections facility and is subject to monitoring and recording. Hello. Hey. Hey. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling horrible. I don't have no eyelashes. I, I look like a lizard. I don't even have my eyebrows, Amber. There ain't no pencil my in eyebrows? there? No. <laughs> <laughs> Girl was like, because I have my eyelashes from where I came in with them. Yeah. She's like, you can put some toothpaste on there. I was like, girl, no. Don't even come near me with that toothpaste. Tell me what happened when you got arrested. I was just going to the store. I was going to buy batteries, and then they pulled me over because my tag light was out. It was broad daylight. Did they tell you that I tried to come up there and visit? No. I don't know why they didn't let you see me. There's some up around here for real. And I ain't got time for this. Wait a minute. She's a felon. She can't vit. Uh, she can't have. She can't have. Uh, she can't have visitors that are felons, though. You know what I'm saying? So that's why she let her see him. I mean, that's why she didn't let her see puppy, though. You know what I'm saying? That's why they didn't let her see her. You're not going to be in there long. I'm telling you. But it feels like forever, Amber. It feels like forever. I know. It's going to be all right. Yeah, but it's not, Amber. It's just bad enough. I couldn't take much more. My heart is very heavy right now. I'm not very good with my emotions. I never have been. I bottle up what I have. And these last few weeks have been torture. After disappearing while I was at work, Christiana's been gone now for about two weeks. She's never not reached out to me for this long. Me and Christiana, we've been through a lot since we've been together. We've been separated, but it's never been to the extent that I actually felt mourning like a, like a death. She hasn't responded to any texts or any. He's not gonna do what I think he's gonna do, is he? Tell me he's not gonna do what I think he's gonna do. He calls and I've been checking the Dubuque County Jail website to I'm gonna guess. He keeps talking about mourning. He's gonna cut his hair. I, I'm getting this feeling like I didn't even seen this before, by the way. But I'm getting the feeling that he's about to cut his hair because she been gone for two weeks. She he hasn't heard anything from her. So basically, he's letting her, he's basically letting her go, going through that moaning uh, that moaning process. He, he's gonna cut his hair. He said he's a uh, he practiced Native American spirituality, so yeah, he's about to cut his hair. To see if she got locked up. Don't know if she relapsed or you know went to her sister Tara's house. You know it's not the same without Bonnie here with me. You know we did everything together, traveled together, we rode together. It was ride or die, man, all the time. For the most part, I trust Christiana's judgment with people, uh, but there has been the occasion where some people that she's developed friendships with have turned out to be bad influence on her. I like this girl that I work with. Her name is Mo. 
I don't want to see it get involved with anybody that's gonna bring you down. I don't know if she's a bad influence, so I decided to meet Mo just to kind of see what she's about. I got some questions. Okay. Are you on parole? I haven't okay. been arrested since 2013. Do you go out and drink after work? Is that your thing? No. Despite what my shirt says, like, I'm actually, like, a good person to be around. At this point, I've been totally ghosted. Oh, brother. Oh, Cola, what's happening? I'm glad you can make it. Yeah, not a problem, bro. You ready to get this done? I'm ready. He is going to do what I think he's going to do. He is going to do it. So I think what we'll probably do is we'll go down over here by the water's edge. I'm participating in a ceremony today to uh, begin the mourning process by uh, cutting my hair. See? See? I told you. I told you. I told you. I knew it. I knew it. I knew. I knew exactly. I do. As soon as you kept saying, well, I'm mowing and she has seen me two weeks, I'm going through the mowing process. I knew that we was going to do because I'm very familiar with the moaning the moaning process when it comes to Native Americans. So, yeah, don't ask me how I'm familiar with that. Well, you can. I can, I can t definitely tell you if you got any proof, I got DNA to prove it. But, yeah, I knew exactly that's what he was going to do, though. We're indigenous, but we didn't call ourselves Native Americans back in the day. It's fourteen thousand years ago. I'm losing a part of me, losing a. I don't know where the hell these people come from, but those are not the Native Americans I grew up with. Part of who I am, just like I lost my wife. Well, let's do it over here, both facing towards the water and towards the sun. Light some smudge. A lot of times, Native Americans will. I've got the smudge and everything. Mm -hmm. Check this out. I got my uh, stones, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. We'll cut their hair if a uh, relative passes on to the other side. Oh. Symbolically, the cutting of the hair, it doesn't start a new chapter in my life, but it potentially... I do smudge my, my, um, my locks, too. I'm not cutting my locks though, but I'm not. I went through a uh, um, pointing process, but I'm not. I don't practice uh, Native American spirituality, so I don't cut my hair. But my my uh, hair is for spiritual reasons, not to be cut off. Unless you know nature take my hair off, then that'd be the only way it goes off. Other than that, my hair stays. Actually, ends, ends a chapter, chapter. To, to the, the west. west so we're gonna, gonna say we're off the. Now, for your spirit, we thank you for the ability to heal that connection between the heart and the mind. We give this tobacco, the shishasha, in honor of John's hair as he shows his mourning. To tell you the truth, being in love scares the out of me. Because I've never wanted anything that bad. You need to smudge your hair down real good before we cut it. That, that way, way the spirits, spirits know that you're giving of yourself. Let me see your hair. Oh no, he is gonna do it. Ah. Uh. Your last chance, John. You know, I I look back at our journey. Mary. Absolutely. You may now. Kiss your beloved. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. Don't do it. You can still find her. She's not dead. So just don't do it, man. Hi, Mom. I just got married. Welcome to my beauty. She relapsed. I really love you. I've got you. I don't want to go to jail today. Ready, princess? No. <laughs> I'm really hoping that this is the last time. I promise to love you and be there for all the days of our lives. Woo! <laughs> I will never fall in love or be in love with anyone else as long as I live because my heart, it's not mine. It'll always belong to Christiana. 
Yes. Oh, got him. Oh no! 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 Don't do it, bro. Tell me that's a wig. Just tell me that's weave or something. Oh, damn it! Uh -huh. Open your waluta. He's go is he gonna burn it? Put it right in the center. Hold your corners. So now you hold on to this. We're gonna put that in the sacred fire, and it's symbolic of you letting go of this chapter of your life. Mm -hmm. Love you, brother. No matter what happens with us, no matter where she is or who she's with, she can always count on me. I'll always be there for her. That I'll love her whether we're physically together or not. I know that somewhere out there, she's under the same sky that I am. And at some time in her life, she'll be looking up at the same star I am. Maybe she'll remember what we had. Disrespectful to fight my wife. Oh, where he come from? Hey, hey, hey. What's up, y'all? Can you walk with me? You wanna walk with me? Go ahead and walk yeah. with him, girl. I don't know. Me personally, it would not be a request. Me personally, after what she did, if I say walk with me, it's not a request. So, about last night with the whole ring situation, um, I know I came off in the wrong way. I could have said it or did it in a better way. I don't know. It confused me. In my mind, I thought I was doing the right thing. I ain't know I was gonna have you upset like that. I wasn't trying to ruin a trip, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I kind of did feel attacked when everybody got to like. It was just supposed to be for for like love and you know what I'm saying, showing my appreciation, like how how much you've been for me, been there for me. Growing up, my mom was killed when I was ten, eleven, real young. So it's real tough to talk about feelings. I've never been romantic before, so this is like my first time. I feel that, homeboy. I definitely feel that. I feel it. Trying something. Deep down inside, I really felt like I was just trying to do the right thing. I just really felt like on this trip, with how our relationship has progressed, I needed to hear you just say, will you marry me? But it won't be. But then it'll be fake. You really want to fake a uh, parochial? Par you want to be, you want to say, hey, uh, let's get married. That'd be fake as hell. You're right, because neither one of our parents are here. Well, then I think we just could have just not did a promise right. You know, I didn't do it right. I mean, I still had a ring. You sure you like you don't want it? Like, you're not gonna wear it. The ring symbolizes our love. Fuck that. You know damn well you wanna wear it. Love. And it's a promise that we are gonna be married by the end of this year. I just wanted to surprise you with the right proposal, everything. You know what I'm saying? Like family, like friends, everybody there, like I just want to do the right. I, I want to do it right. I feel that I am. See, I feel him on that one. See, that's what I think. I, I knew exactly where he was getting that. But he's thinking long term, long term. Better with Ray. Every. You know, she'll be dope as hell. she take that fucking makeup on, off and take that wig off, too. She looks so much better. Take the fucking makeup off and take off the wig. 
day, Ray encourages me to be my best. We always talk about our future and what we want. And he really drives me to that. Like, will you promise me that we will get married by the end of this year? Are you sure about that time frame? Because I will start planning. Yeah, I'm positive. See, Ray is a type, looks like the type of person that if he says he's going to do something, he's going to do it, though. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I, I see good things with this, these, these uh, two. These two. And you want to do everything the right way. This yes. giving you time to talk to my family. Yeah, I'll talk to everybody. And I'm not okay, wearing sir. it on my left hand. Okay. I'll saying. wear it on this finger. It looked beautiful on either finger. All right. Now we have real plans set in motion. I will get you another ring. <laughs> yes, you will. When I do propose. And this one's beautiful. You could have just proposed. <laughs> Too bad for you. You know what? <laughs> she was saying one more motherfucking smart thing, too. <laughs> <laughs> Man, say, had it been me, she said one more smart remark. Man, say, and she would say one more little smart ass remark, man. She she know the true meaning of the words we shall overcome. Cause she gonna put my foot in me. Never mind. <laughs> she gonna, uh, she gonna, uh, man. <laughs> Seriously, had that been me, she said one more motherfucking smart ass remark. One of these days, Alice. One of these days. Pow. Zoom. Straight to the moon. That's okay, because the next one's going to be bigger and better. Finally, I feel like I've been given a second chance at life, and I'm not going to mess it up. You know, we have a lot to look forward to. Marriage, kids, just living life together. <laughs> I love you. Love you too. This is just the beginning. He's just working and building from here. Like well, together know. forever. I gotta say this. His wave pattern is tight as fuck though. I like this dude. He got the waves and shit. This shit is tight as fuck though. For real. And yeah. hopefully including all the missing puzzle pieces, babies. Career growth. We have a lot to do. Just take that makeup off. Please take that makeup off. It's making you, I don't mean to be rude, but that makeup is actually making, making her look old, though, man. She's not, she don't look like she's 34. She look like she's my age, and I'm 40 years old. So, yeah, take that. Don't do that again. Just don't do that again. Catch up on a lot of sex. Right now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Thank you. Where my booty? <laughs> How do you get dark that quick? Why are you here? I'm here to show my support. Would you want me to show up to your uh, wedding to show my support? I wouldn't want you to show up nowhere where I'm at. If I show up, I'm going to take your oh, bitch. Let's go. Yeah. Ah, see? See? She want to she wanna act like a man? She get her ass whooped like one. I mean, I would have just unhitched her jaw. She looks like a man. Might as well fight her like one. Did she really think you had a chance with this with this woman? Did she even think she had a chance with this dude? I mean, really. I mean, let's be real, dude. Like I said, even the skinniest man is stronger than the strongest woman, though. You know what I'm saying? Let's be real about that. Yeah, 
Okay, okay, okay. I know, I know. Calm down. Dude, I, I ain't even swing at her. I know, I know, I know. I ain't swing at her. That's what you trash, hey, bitch. She, she a girl. That's why I don't hear her. No, no, no. No, no, no. What the? Why you just boils me? Hey, let's go, man. What the? How disrespectful to come to my wedding and fight my wife. Do that. But why about your wife put his, put her hands on him? He's better than me. He's better than me because I would have hit her jaw if she uh, would have swung at me. I mean, yeah, she looks like a man, so shit. You that intimidated by me, bitch? What? Go, bro! You know what's up, bitch? Go! Nicole, I can't keep up with you, honey. Both of them mother I ain't got nothing for them. Don't be hitting me up when the go wrong. Talk about you want to talk to me. Don't be hitting me up talking about you want to talk to me. Stay with the bitch you with. Deontay, come on. My mom raised me not to hit no damn girl, boy. <laughs> they walked right by me like I didn't even exist. You're just now realizing that you don't exist for them. Wow, you don't exist to them. You just now realizing that. Well, you really are a fucking idiot. Pretty much is, uh, symbolizes my entire relationship with Nicole. I never existed. Wow, you're just coming at the realization. You really are slow. And that's how I got treated. Can you get in the car? Because she couldn't even look at me. She could never look at me in my face when she around that girl. Take your stupid ass <laughs> mind. You're supposed to get the out of my mind. They can have each other. They deserve each other. Both of them are going to end up back where they came from. Do you with the <laughs> Find trash, you get trash, you are trash. You was trash for dealing with these monkeys. You are trash for dealing with that bitch. But now that you learned your lesson, you should, you should have stuck with the other girl, though. The one that you was with the, you know, the date with. She was actually decent, and, but yeah, you all around this old trash ass bitch. I need me before I need her. <laughs> I'm happy I came and I'm happy I saw what I saw. I'm driving myself crazy trying to save this chick. <laughs> and it's worthless. What happened? You can't you can't save that you can't save one that, that's not one to be saved. Boy he, Dude, he is like the I don't know, Deontay is like the uh the instances of a simp. Seriously, he is a simp. He he is King Simp. He is Impeter simp, though, you know, so he's the queen of the simps, or king of the simps, whatever, though, he's just a simp. They just fought. I couldn't do nothing. I'm in a big-ass dress. You okay, Tia? I'm fed up. I just don't like the mother. I can't stand him, and if I could go back a thousand, a million, a trillion times again, I would do the same. And each time you would have got your ass well. Just, just let you know. Thing over and over and over. I just have something to tell them. I need to know first. No. Uh, yeah. She acts more like his mom than the mother of his kids. She was pissed, I could tell. Oh yeah, that's the woman she has the six kids. That's the woman he has the six kids by. No trouble. You don't want no trouble. You don't want no trouble. So how the kids doing? Um, they're fine. Just uh, finishing up with school. Where are they by you? Uh, no, they're in the rooms. Just wanted to just talk to them. Um, probably a later time. They're in the middle of doing stuff, you know. I want to tell the kids, you know, about the engagement, but 
Kelly's never been supportive of our relationship. Well, Gee, I wonder why. I'm just ask I'm you done to with come that. meet her and let's see what it, what happens so the kids can come. Like if I, I don't want them involved at all. You're just mad that I'm with somebody else and not you. You know what? I'm done you with it. No. Ask. But I really want the kids to come to Ohio. I see why uh, Destiny treated his ass. He deserved to be treated, though. You know what I'm saying? Because he's a bogus motherfucker, though. Know? Everybody, oh, you know, when I first seen him, I thought, oh, damn, she did the bogus. But now, I see why she treating his ass. She need, He need to be treated. Also, they can't meet Sarah. So I can't talk to him anymore? Not right now. Well, I just have something to tell them. What do you have to tell them? It's between me and them. I'm extremely nervous, you know, having to tell Kelly that, you know, we're pregnant and we're getting married. I'm sure she's going to be really freaking pissed off. You know, and who knows what she's going to tell the kids. It's not between you and them. I need to know first. What? There's no way. That's not how it's going to work. There's no way. That is how it goes. No. I have a right to know if it affects them. It affects me. Therefore, I have a right to know. No. I mean, she is right, though. I mean, she has every right to know what the hell. Uh, yeah. I absolutely hate... The relationship that Kelly and Sean have with each other, I feel like it's totally disrespectful to me on every single level. And I, I would suggest you mind your business. You don't know anything about what goes on between those two. It's not your business. I feel like she acts more like his mom than the mother of his kids. Spit it out. You had no problem trying to say something to other times, so why is now different? We're engaged. You're engaged. Yeah. Again. Yes. I just wanted yeah, to meet no. Sarah. No, see, when you have a mother of your kids and you're bringing another girl into it, they meet first before you bring the kids into the mix. That's how it works. Says who? That's just how it always works. Why are you trying to change it now? Either I meet her first and a okay it to, for my kids to be around her, or they're not going to come out there. Which she has every right to. I'm sorry, on this time, I'm I'm on her side. I'm sorry. She has every right to feel, and she has every right to say, look, um, I don't want you know, me to tell I meet you first, you know what I'm saying, to make sure you're up, you're up, up and up. I, I get that because why, I do not want anybody around my children. If I feel some kind of, if, you know what I'm saying, if I feel like you're not up and up, though, you know what I'm saying, what well, she has every right to do. I mean, and plus, she's the one raising the six, six up uh, kids. She ain't, he ain't, ain't really, do, but child support. Whoopee. So you're keeping me from my kids? No. Sounds like it. And what's been the problem? Why you haven't made an effort to fly out here to come see your kids? If you care about them so much. Aha. 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 Stand up for yourself. Sean is. Dude. I'm gonna say this one more time. I suggest this girl buying her fucking business. That has nothing to do with you. Buy your fucking business. It's just as much their father as she is their mother. And he wants to see his kids. He wants them to come up here. And she makes it seem like it's not him putting in any effort, but he does put in the effort. It's not the problem that he can see his kids all he wants to. He's just not sure about you, though. He can see his kids all the fuck he want to. She's not stopping him, but she's not feel about. She's not sure about you, though. That's the difference. Because I'm right there when he does it. It's her that's refusing to let it happen. Like I have always been there for my kids. I help you out. I help them out. Like whenever they want something, I try to be there as much as I can. And if this is the route I have to do so my kids can come here, then that's fine. Come out here and meet her. Let's get this Why over with. She, there? Why can't she, she can't leave the state. She can't leave the state. So you're going to have to try to come here. If Even if you drive here and she doesn't have a problem meeting you, she wants to get all this out and then try to be civil on all this so that we don't have any issues. If that's what you're, you want, then that's fine. We'll see. We'll figure out how to work that out. All right. All right. Bye. She was pissed. I could tell. She's just unbelievable i just don't understand why she feels like she has that right because that's 
they're her children. Maybe that's why she feels like she has every right to feel what she to feel what she the way because those are her kids, not yours, little one, little woman. Mind your fucking business. She just makes you seem like you're not trying and it pisses me off. Like, I don't get why she has to act like that. And for her to demand to know before she tells them is is the craziest shit I've ever heard. She's young and dumb. She don't know. Like, if you want to talk to your kids, talk to your kids. She can't keep you from that. She sure as hell don't keep you from sending money. I can tell you that. She, you need to, she needs to shut the fuck up. And again, I don't think it's a matter of her seeing him seeing her his kids. He can see his kids any time. No problem. But she's not sure about you though. Again, little girl, mind your fucking business. And don't don't speak about things you don't know. Just saying. She's all the way cool with that, but she's gonna act like this over you talking to him. I don't get it. I don't get it either. Exactly, you don't get it. You're not supposed to. Understanding is not in your repertoire when it comes to her kids. But I'm gonna hold her accountable for this. I'm gonna make her come out here, and we'll start planning a trip. And and I'm gonna hold her to it. I like really hope you mean that. I don't feel like it would matter whether I had a criminal past or not. I could be a doctor, a nurse, a dentist. I mean, I could be Pamela Anderson, and she's gonna be about it because it's someone with Sean. She wants him to be alone and revolve. Actually, let me be real with you. She don't really give a fuck about who she's who. She don't give a fuck about who he's with. It's the fact of the matter is, he needs. She needs to meet you to see if you're up. See if you're up and up, though. You know what I'm saying. She will give a fuck about you. Who you been with, though? You know what I'm saying. She just remember the last time that happened, you know. All of his life around her, and he's he's led her so far. I mean, there's nothing I can do on that, but it happened. There is something you can do about it. You can fix it. She may be the mother of your children, but guess what? So am I. Well, you're pretty with one of the children, you're not the mother just yet. He is dead. Till the child's actually born. So shut up! Where do we go from here? What did. Ah, uh, the walk of shame. This stupid motherfucker right here, though. This madness just be. Like, I need a drink. <laughs> because... Oh, my bro. What did you see with this bitch? And I got a question, though. I, and I ask this to everybody. What advantages did you have by being with this one? How did she advance your life better, though? She, she didn't. She didn't advance shit. She just take, 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 and she never give. So why the fuck you pounding with this bitch? She didn't do anything to bright to to advance your life in any kind of way. So what the fuck are you? So why the fuck are you so? I can't believe it. <laughs> You know what she was got when you got with that bitch. Go get laid. Do something, man. So I'm just saying, like, you know, her knowing that she told you y'all get married, that, that wasn't enough to say, fuck this bitch. I got to make better choices with the women I, I, I choose to associate myself with. See you. Yes, you do. You definitely gotta reevaluate the women because a woman you, I don't know what fuck, I don't know what what I don't know how fucked up you got in life, but you you picking some raggedy ass bitches though, man. Nicole and T say I do to each other. It hurt a lot, but it's probably what I needed. I definitely think Nicole made the wrong decision, you know, by marrying. My brother, you got a good job, making good money, and you, you, you had the opportunity to get one of a nice-looking young sister, but yet 
you you pawn around this this trash ass bitch. To you, but I mean, that's a man. They can have each other, man. Do you feel like this is it for you and Nicole? That was a stupid ass question. How the f did you tell my mom that we were engaged? No sex until I get my boobs done. Baby, don't do that. Come on. You serious? Oh, so, so that's why you won't give me the. I would have stopped fucking her as soon as I see with that motherfucker, yo. I would have stopped fucking with her as soon as I seen her do that bullshit. Right, because you with this motherfucker. I think we can be like a threesome. That will never happen. You for real, dog. This is, this is ridiculous. Yeah, this is it, man. I mean, look at it this way. Out of all y'all three, you the only one that was employed. These two bitches are unemployed, though. I mean... Dude, how how far do you think they'll get? I mean, they can have one of those uh, OnlyFans or be, you know, her plotting trade, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, dude, they're just bums. Both of them, they're just fucking bums. Hey, you a fucking bum from getting with that, that, uh, that no advantage having bitch. That's it. Yeah. Knowing Nicole, at some point in time, she's going to reach out to me again because that's what Nicole does. But Nicole, show loss. Be with be with Tia and do what you do, and I'm gonna do what I do. I made the winner shirt. Oh my gosh! Get oh. Off. Touch me. Married life is isn't what I expected. I literally go to sleep every night by like 8 p.m. <laughs> I feel like we're old people and we're not. <laughs> yeah, let's just see how long this lasts. Two unemployed bums. I mean, hell. They just look good together. Two trashy ass motherfuckers together. You know, if this was in there, she'll be an untouchable. These two would be called untouchables. Because, I mean, if they was doing it, if they were still doing the, uh, Doing the uh, um, whatever you call it, should be an untouchable. Mm -hmm. Scat or cast? It was a cast. Uh, if this is still the gas ca uh, gas station, the cast, shit, they'll be untouchables. These two right here, these they'll be t untouchables. But we've been talking about having a kid, and what are you grabbing? Spine. That's really exciting to me. We're gonna take her sperm. I know that sounds weird, and she was gonna put it in me. <laughs> and uh, we wanted the baby to have the same DNA. But I will never sleep with her. So we'd have to like turkey baste her that. I guess I don't know. Yep. Wait, 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 wait. Who's having a baby? Her or the man the man looking one? Because if she's having a baby and you want them to have the same DNA, that would mean that oh, oh god, I'm about to be fucking sick. Oh god. I just thought about it. if she's the one having a baby, then she'll be having a baby by her I just hope the man look one's having a baby though, you know what I'm saying? Because that's her brother. That'll be her brother that she'll have the child by if she's having a child. Or or a blood. It has to be a blood relative. They want to save D. She wants to save DNA. That's crazy. You look beautiful. Or it's her brother. Well, it's her brother. Tia's uh, brother will pay the co. Hopefully that's the case, cause the other way is weird as fuck. You have any last words for Deontay? All I want you to know, Deontay, is that you're a piece of. Yeah. You ruined my wedding. He's a piece of shit, but yeah. He's a piece of shit, but yeah. Who is in prison for fraud? I mean, I don't know why Deontay can't get over me. It's like. It was the same thing with his ex. He just 
clings to prison girls and it's not healthy. That's actually one of the smart things she just said. You're right, it's not healthy. You don't look healthy, so you just one of those. You just try to steal one. You still trash, though. But that part is right. Dude, after this, I will be. I will be so true with motherfucking women that from prison and motherfucking women. Uh. Women too, you know. What's up, girl? You know, I want to say that you know, after being burned by two inmates, you would think I would say, "Oh, this, I'm done with this." But um, I never say never. We'll see. <laughs> well, if we do go to another female in prison, maybe next time you get some pussy. At least the male's a pussy. I feel like we should all just have a person. Is that right? I don't want you to walk away from me. I guess I do have still kind of emotional attachment with her. I enjoy doing little things that make Sean feel special. This morning, I'm making Sean breakfast. I'm. The makes look bland as fuck. Might have burnt the sausage a little bit, but he likes his pork done. I'm ironing his shirt, so. I would think everybody would like their pork um, done because there's no such thing as a uh, medium rare pork chop, especially since the pig doesn't sweat. So everything that's. Everything bacteria that's in that pig is still on that pig when you cook it. You know what I'm saying? Even though the bacteria is supposed to be cooked out, but still, I mean, there's still shit in that pork that still in there that didn't sweat out, though, you know? Oh, so he looks nice for work. And I packed him a lunch and wrote him, uh, you know, a sexy little note. Just a simple little, I hope you think of me because I'm thinking of you. Hey, baby. Baby, what I do to deserve this? Mm. Mm. I don't know. Sean, you got lucky as hell. I did get lucky. I saw about something. He's 28, she's 46. He's 46, she's 40. She's 28. In 20 years' time, she'll be 48 and he'll be now. He'll be 66 years old. She tells me all the time I put a spell on her. That's why she stayed. Mm -hmm. Bye, I love you. Right, Don't love forget you your lunch. Bye. We're gonna go get the pool. Hi. Hey, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Living like Mother Earth. Shut up, you're always <laughs> talking <laughs> Babe, are you gonna get in with us? Oh yeah, for sure. I'm gonna say again. Usually, I don't uh, date women who went from. Um, usually, I don't date women that uh, you know. But I do have to say, they do. She do got good taste of women if she, you know, was a different, um, you know, was a little different though. You know what I'm saying? But eh. So where do we go from here? Hmm? I could just be your little side chick. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. But I have to see how Mars you is acting. Games. I have to see how Mars is feeling or acting towards it. Cause like I don't want to be disrespectful towards your guys' relationship. Do you think I would be entertaining a conversation if I felt like I was disrespecting my marriage? No, I don't. Cause I okay. I get. I think I get what they're coming. I get. I think I get what she uh coming from. Her and Masato. Her and uh, Silo is married. She will be both for both of them. Not just her. 
Oh, nice. No, you respect your husband, but do I think that you are more pushy about the issue than he probably wants to do it? Absolutely, yeah. Water nice? Yeah, it feels good. Oh, yeah. Dude. Quit playing, dude. Quit playing. Dude, wild, wild boar, wild boar, uh, bulls can't pull from, dude, wild bulls can't, uh, pull you away from that shit, dude. And where's the pineapple, you know, the upside down pineapple statue or something like that? Feels good? Or what? Yeah, So, Mars, I was talking to Brittany and I'm ready, but I wanted to talk to you about it, so... Dude, there's really need, no need to say anything, goddamn it. All you gotta say, just, just say, just like, dude, like keywords. Threesome between threesome between two more, between both of them, with both of them. That's all you gotta say. That's all you gotta say. Ain't no need, no pre with Ain't no pre, you know. There's no need to be all formal or all this shit. Just say. Threesome with y'all two. Done deal. Ready for what? I don't want this to be awkward. I think you know exactly what she's talking about. We've developed our relationship, and I feel. <laughs> Man, quit playing, dude. Quit playing. You know you like that shit. Because I would. I so, feel like I have unfinished business with her, and I feel like we should all just have a threesome. Is, is that right? I don't know how more direct. I don't know how more direct they could get. Though I mean, she can get. Though I mean, that's that's just direct to the point right there. I dig it. Yeah. And she's ready. Are you, you ready? Feel like? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that well, what? You, is that oh, what I've been ready. <laughs> You've been ready for her. Right, but you ain't ready for me. <laughs> Don't don't think I don't see what you're doing. Duh, duh. <laughs> see things like this. Cool, man. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. That's cool, man. That's cool. I mean, to each his own, though, you know. Man is little. She's a little huntress. Not even like that. No. I think she's trying to play a little bit coy. And if you look at her closely, she's probably blushing when she says it. I know what's really going on. And it's cool, I understand. I get it. But you can do whatever you want to get Brittany's attention. At the end of the day, she's going to bed with me and waking up with me. Listen, baby, I know that in the beginning of our relationship, you said you weren't ready for like a threesome. But you know that just because you and I are married, that my sexual attraction for women is not gonna die. It's not gonna die. I accept. You know, you know what though? I appreciate that. That is uh, some real shit. I mean, I I understand. I mean, she's bisexual. I mean, this was a guy. Did that be something different? But, um, but you know, I understand what she's saying. Like, look, she's saying to her husband, "Look, I love you, this, but I'm attracted to women, and I'm a woman myself. So let's, you know, come together with some understanding." Here. And you and I have built a foundation, and we trust each other. And Amanda is. I don't know why I just don't be. Po uh, what's that? Uh, uh, Pollyanna? Not Pollyanna. That's for one woman, multiple men. Uh, plus, uh, what's a? A Polly? Why does it be Polly? You know, one man, multiple women. You know, what I'm saying you get your. Old, Get your fix and, you know, get his fix too, you know. Just, you know, come together of harmony and peace. Ready for us. Not me. Us. You know, I've grown to... She grown wouldn't even me. further the conversation with me without talking to you. Is that a yes? Did I get a yes out of you? I'm afraid if I tell you no, you might just... <laughs> I would what? I would never, never betray our marriage. No, nah, but you would be mad at me for a long time, so... No, I want you to do it because you want to do it. Be honest. 
Quit fucking playing, dude. Quit playing, man. Quit playing. Quit playing. <sighs> How can I say no? Yes. How can you say no? You cannot say no in this circumstance, bro. No is not in your ep uh, repertoire. No is a not is nothing. No, it does not exist in this dojo. <laughs> How can I say no? Baby's on board, then I'm not gonna say no. I think this time things are different with my wife as far as threesomes because we have an understanding that we have a commitment to each other. Dude, we men, we as men been doing that shit for years. We always have that one woman that we're gonna be with for the rest of our lives. But the other women just, you know, they're just there, though. You know what I'm saying? But let's say, like, you know, uppers and, you know, African kings have my, my ancestors did it, though. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, look, I love you. I cherish you. You my heart. You got my heart. But I'm going to fuck it out of these other bitches, too, though. You know what I'm saying? Because we're going to all come together at one, at one harmony group. Interesting. That's something big to introduce into a relationship that's new. Even though we're still kind of fresh, we're not new in our relationship. So if this is threesome or something that she wants to explore, I'm open to it now. I don't know, you guys. But let's. But they did have to. Well, I mean, if they're gonna keep doing this shit, they have to make an stance. And um, y'all together, they're the third wheel, not each other. You guys serious? I don't even know if I'm her type. You both are. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I mean, if I like you and you like me, I mean, it just makes sense. Hmm. So that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you boy. That's what I'm saying. You yeah. think so? Yeah, I think so. Come on. Yeah. Watch. Oh, thank goodness the kids are, you know, being, you know, with some, with their stepfather, you know, so what father, really, but thank goodness. You and Amanda kiss is probably, like, one of the most sexiest things that I've probably ever seen. Fire. I'm not at all queasy about it, unnerved by it. Your bisexuality is who I accepted for who you are. Okay. Thank you. And us exploring, doing threesomes, this and that, is not cheating. It's us fulfilling our marriage. Going outside of the marriage means doing something outside, having a telephone number on the side, or texting on the side, or not knowing. The See, that's the understanding that, you know, people who in those relationships need to uh, have, definitely have to have, though, you know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, people, do what you do, you know what I'm saying? To each his own. Do what the fuck you want to do, though. I mean, it is what it is. But if you going to do that, there definitely has to be understanding that you're the couple. Y'all both with this person. It ain't, well, she's going to be with this one, I'm going to be the, No, no, no. Y'all two together with this person, this woman. They're the third wheel. Y'all the married one. Y'all consider one. So... I mean, like I said, I mean, if it's, I don't know if it's right or wrong, whatever, it is what it is. People going to do what the fuck they're going to do. But at the same time, though, there has to be understanding, though, if they're going to continue doing shit like that. Just saying. About who we're dealing with. It's not an open marriage. It's our marriage. The happy wife, happy life. That's why I got the championship ring. Look, Amanda, I won. Hang the banner. I got Brittany. I gotta be the best husband you ever had. The only husband I've ever had. Ah, oh, man. Damn. She's too cute to be in prison, though, man. But this could be her second time. Hopefully, hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully, her pro officer comes out and like, you know what? Uh, it's, just, it's just a fucking child violation. I'm really depressed about being locked up again. Why do you got him locked up like some goddamn killer or something? What the fuck? 
I don't know how many times I've been arrested. I've been arrested quite a few times. Um, I really honestly can't remember. Yo, my nigga, where is your fucking eyebrows, yo, for real? I'm hoping that I don't have to do too long. I, I don't know, really. I, actually, I can't really say for sure. I'm telling myself I don't have to do too long, but they could take two years from me. What are you in jail for? I got pulled over, and um, I had the warrant out for my for parole violation, so they arrested me and impounded my vehicle. Now I'm here. I'm waiting for my parole officer to come visit me and hopefully release me. Just like a week ago, I was going to turn myself in, but I didn't want to... I didn't want to do it, and this is why I didn't want to do it. I can't do this right now. I want to, but I just can't turn myself in right now. I just can't. I'm taking these cameras down. I've got too much stress on me to do it right now. I can't. I just really wanted to, like, rock out for the rest of the summertime, honestly, and then I would turn myself in. I have plans, you know, my birthday's coming, Amber's birthday's coming up. Um, I have plans to go to Vegas with Eric, but I guess... Uh, that's not gonna happen. Are you still engaged? I don't know. He, um, I'm upset right now because he's supposed to go to Vegas tomorrow and he's still going and I'm not going, so I'm a little upset. Do you regret not turning yourself in? Yeah, as soon as it was a problem, I wish I would have just went immediately and turned myself in. I just don't want to do no more time, you know? done a lot of time and I'm just really upset about the whole situation because it's like no matter what I do I'm always gonna have to come back and do time and it's not really fair because I'm probably I'm probably doing better than I've ever done in my life and my family needs me like my mother's still sick this is, this is doing nobody know any good with me being locked up And I thought I could just, like, do this time standing on my head, and I really can't. This is probably the hardest time I've ever done. And I'm ready to go home. You give me about 20 minutes, it'll be ready for you, okay? Thank you, have a good day. There is not a day that I'm not grateful to be out of prison. I'm on probation for 20 years, but I get to go where I want, eat what I want. If you're on probation for 20 years, that means you're you're still living it, though. So, yeah. Do what I want. Freedom is a blessing. Bye. I will see you Friday. Okay. Puppy is, she will, she'll always be my wife. She'll always be my best friend. I feel bad for her. I don't want her to be stuck in there. Nobody wants to see anybody they care about locked up. One thing that I would tell Poppy right now is that I love her to death. I always will. Through thick and thin, and I'm glad she's getting the taken care of and put it behind her. You know, I don't really know Eric, but I mean, I'm gonna kick this motherfucker with the curb. I need shame. relationship and never talk to me ever again. Is that what you want? Look at me, please. It'd be smart he would. Just cut her ass off. Just cut her off! thinking about how I felt when I was in jail. You know, you started talking to Shane. I don't get it. I was getting out two months. I was not in the right state of mind. Mm -hmm. 
now it's coming cool. Now it's coming full circle. She was a bogus motherfucker for that, though. You was with her. You was with John. Then you got with Shane. And then after Shane got out, you married Shane. And you, then you said, fuck John. And then you had John arrested. Boys, everything you, anything you get right now, you deserve it, girl. For real. I was so up. I wasn't being a good person. I wasn't being a good mom. I wasn't being a good girlfriend. I mean, I tried to hold everything down. And I didn't know what the I was doing. Like, I could have been way better at you, but I wasn't even good at myself. Like, I'm just tired of getting hurt, man. You don't think I'm tired of getting hurt? You don't think that I look bad? You would be tired of getting hurt if you wasn't the only one, if you wasn't the one producing the hurt. And everything that we've been through. Can't do this. <laughs> you can't. I gotta go. John. Huh, about time he walked away from that toxic bitch. Seriously, she's toxic. She's toxic as fuck, yo, for real. And I advise Shane to divorce her too. John! I tried to hold her back. I guess I do have still kind of an emotional attachment with her. The tears just came from old feelings. Because that love is gone. It's like a lost puppy that I just found. And maybe I'm dreaming and I feel like I still love her. Like she had me stuck, like a magnet pulling me in. But I, I had to, I had to hold my ground, stick it back to what I'm doing right now in life, and get the hell out of there. Like she up, she'll pick me up again. I know she will. That's a fact. Just like any kind of habit that you have, you have to learn how to deal with it and learn how to say no to keep on moving forward. Hey. Sorry, well, I'll get, a, I'll get a cop to come by and escort me in. I want me and Lacey to be better. Because I know we have true potential to be better and have a good relationship. And I want to make sure my little daughter grows up. Wait, but she kicked you out, bro? Like, what the hell? Knowing that her dad loves her. I'm your daddy. You happy? That's dad dad's girl. I mean, but I can only fix with so much at one time. But if I'm willing to work on me, she has to be willing to work on herself. For two years, I've been trying to get her to stop talking to John. I just hope and pray that she stops because I don't know if I can handle it. I. She's a toxic motherfucker, yo. I mean, hell, yeah, she might as well stick with uh, Shane now. John ain't fuck with her no more. You know what I'm saying? Plus, who really wants a woman with four kids, though? I mean, seriously, who? Some, I mean, some men will put, get get at her, but I mean, do your your body's kind of. I'm not saying for all women who have children, don't get me wrong, just this particular one right here, she has no value anymore. I mean, dude. I mean, she has some value, but she's a human being, but she doesn't, like I said, who actually want to be with a woman with four kids, a single woman with four kids, though? Especially this one right here. Honestly, I don't like to do predictions because my life is unpredictable. I live my life day by day. And that's a problem. And with Shane, he has a lot of learning to do. And with John, you know, he seems like he's doing okay. So. Without you. He's, she's definitely doing damn good without you. I think for me, my prediction for myself is to stay focused on me and my kids and 
not worry so much about Shane or Sean. If I you're just saying that shit now because John told you to get the get the fuck on. I could sit down with my 16 year old self. I would tell her that everything is gonna be okay and be happy, smile more. Life is short, so just enjoy the ride. I see you did adjust the you did um enjoy the ride three times. Damn, all three of your children don't even have the same father. That's crazy. Well, not really, but I mean, this is Leslie we're talking about. Leslie we're talking about, though. Damn! Now, I can see if, you know, all the children are from the same father, but you, your children are about a di three different motherfuckers, no, four different motherfuckers, though. That's crazy. Damn, your, your body has went down. Shit. You are literally our baby mother, though. You're a brother. Had a baby. You are the woman that she would have more, had too many children to know what to do type shit. John and like, like, both them, bro. He just saying that shit because you kick Shane down and John won't fuck with you no more. Okay, finally, that's over it. Man. I'm sorry, people, that it took so long. This video is over two hours. But, the, you know, I, like I said, I had to, you know, uh, pause and talk through it. You know what I'm saying? And I did this for you, so you don't have to, you know, watch the... I did this for you, so you don't have to do it, though. You know what I'm saying? I suffered this whole hour, well, hour and 23 minutes for you and brought you this reaction. So you don't have to go ahead and do it. You don't have to do it yourself. All right, peoples, that's back. That's about that about does it. Oh yeah, by the way, please um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, you can look at me on um, Instagram. Uh, um, having a con, uh, having a content truth uh, underscore eighty one, and also please subscribe to the challenge vegan, the traveling vegan cannabis website um, blog for, for articles, probos, and and uh, writing services, and I'll see. You. Oh, and I'll be doing my podcast. Hopefully, it's tomorrow, today, or tomorrow, and I'll see you later.